Where do you think sharks spend most of their time? We scientists want to know, because if we know where sharks are, we may be able to better protect them. If you were to analyze where you spend your time, you'd probably find that you spend most of it at home and at work or school. We try to keep these places as safe as we can so that we can live long and productive lives. Large sharks occupy the top of the ocean food pyramid, and removing too many of them through fishing can disrupt the natural balance of the marine environment. One way that we may be able to better protect sharks is through Marine Protected Areas, or MPAs. In Florida, we have different types, like national parks, state, and federal waters, each with its own set of rules. But even today, it is unclear how effective these boundaries are for the conservation of large, highly mobile sharks. Since these species often swim large distances, it's not feasible to protect their entire habitat. But by studying their movements, we can try to protect the areas that they use the most, just like us humans protecting our homes. Scientists call these regions their core habitat use areas. To find out where sharks spend their time, we attach satellite tags to their dorsal fin. Each time the tag broke the surface, the shark's location was sent up to a satellite and back down to us. We collected these data from 18 great hammerhead sharks, 24 bull sharks, and 44 tiger sharks. These 86 sharks sent us over 5,000 locations, which we used to determine where they spend most of their time. We then compared these core habitat use areas to the different MPAs in the region to see how much of their core habitat was protected from their main threat, fishing. For tagged great hammerhead sharks, 18% of their core habitat use areas were protected, and almost all of this protection came from regulations within Florida state waters. If these regulations were extended to U.S. federal waters, 100% of their core habitat use areas would then be protected. This is of particular importance since great hammerheads are experiencing large population declines in this region. While tagged bull sharks spent even more time within Florida state waters, none of their core habitat use areas fell within zones that protect the species from fishing. They did, however, spend about 59% of their time within national parks, which do have stricter fishing rules and more enforcement than other areas. Finally, we found that around 35% of tagged tiger shark core habitat use areas were protected. Most of this was from regulations that protect sharks within waters of the Bahamas, and if these same rules were extended to federal waters of the U.S., then 100% of their core habitat would then be protected. While it is difficult to know for sure what amount of protection is enough, our results show that it is possible for MPAs to protect core habitat use areas of highly mobile sharks. To learn more and read the paper, please visit the University of Miami's Shark Research and Conservation Program at sharktagging.com.